homily for the solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ, given by Reverend Deacon Eric G. Viraj from the Archdiocese of Westminster, England. We invite you all to listen to this inspiring homily and we appreciate it if you would subscribe to our Bread of Life Catholic YouTube channel and share the homily with others, spreading the word of God to many people. Thank you. Let's listen to the homily now. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, popularly known as Corpus Christi. It was introduced in the late 13th century to encourage the faithful to give special adoration to the Holy Eucharist. As we celebrate Corpus Christi today, both our first and the second reading talks about covenant, sacrifice and blood. According to the first reading, the old covenant was sealed with the blood of animal sacrifice which Moses sprinkled on the people. On the contrary, the second reading reminds us that we new covenant was sealed with the blood of Christ. That is what makes us the functional difference. Hence the sacrifice of the body and blood of Christ is the game changer. While the first covenant never guaranteed eternal life, the new does because it sealed with the costly blood through a perfect sacrifice offered once and for all. In today's gospel, Jesus institutes the, the Holy Eucharist. Here he was both priest and the victim. This is another difference between the new and the old covenant. As priest, Christ offered himself to God for our salvation. So it is important to note that whenever we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, Jesus is fully present both as the priest and as the victim. He accomplishes his priesthood through the actions of the human priest who is Alter Christus, another Christ, and who acts in persona Christi, in the person of Christ. On the other hand, he accomplishes his role as a victim in the form of bread and wine. All these put together is what we refer to as a sign of grace. The church teaches us the Eucharist is the source and summit of Christian life. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, for in the Blessed Eucharist is contained the whole spiritual good of the church, namely Christ himself. The church, the Eucharist is also the culmination of both, of God's action sanctifying the world in Christ and of the worship men offering to Christ. In brief, the Eucharist is the sum of summary of our faith. Therefore, today, celebration is a celebration of life, salvation and grace. It teaches us that as the real food, the Eucharist is a true body and blood of Christ which nourishes our soul. It is concrete the way through which Christ is divinely present with us every day and moment. So, when we celebrate, when we share the celebration of the Eucharist, we share in the life of Christ, the head and the life of the church, his body. This means that we must pay more attention to the Holy Eucharist. Spend time before the Blessed Sacrament in His Divine Presence. If we present ourselves before the Blessed Sacrament daily or at home before the Sacred Heart of Jesus or the Divine Mercy image, He will fill us with wisdom and show us the best way to approach. This means that we should adore and offer Christ the reference due to Him. Any moment spent in the presence of the most blessed sacrament or at home in before the Sacred Heart or the Divine Mercy is both a golden moment and a moment of grace. 
let us also add of Christ saying O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praises and all thanksgiving be every moment and time today I ask you to reflect upon the hidden real mystery of faith allow yourself to be drawn into a wonder and awe at what you are privileged to attend let your faith in the most holy eucharist grow by being open to a deepening of this gift of faith through spiritual insight and believe behold this great gift of the eucharist with the eyes of faith and you will be drawn into the wonder and awe that god wants to bestow upon you i wish you god's blessing and have a great week